Hi, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to do texturing and painting in Blender. This is at the beginning of the Blender. And this is the cube. And you must click here. Click here to show all the texture. Now you cannot see anything because this cube doesn't have any of the texture. You can check it here, UV editing. This is totally empty. You don't have any picture yet. Yeah? So now I'm going to add a picture for this cube. So after UV editing it here, you also need to click here. So that you can show every texture. So now, I already prepared some texture here. This is a JPG image. It's a picture. I want to turn this cube to a standard dice of six faces. So through, through this view, I can see all the file extension, whether it is PNG or JPG or JPEG. If you cannot see any of the file extensions, you need to come to your view. Option, view, make sure you untick here. After you untick here, you should be able to see all the file extension, .png, .jpg or .jpg. This is very important. Even you can differentiate the FBX file and OBJ file. After that, untick and click OK. Now I want to add this picture to the UV. So just need to click open. Then I copy this folder location, Control C to copy. And here, Control V to paste, then enter. This is the texture that I want. Texture.jpg. Texture.jpg. Open image. Now, now you still cannot see. So you need to come here, click the base color. Okay, click use notes. Then base color, click here. Sorry. The base color. Here. Image texture, choose this. Then this part, click and then choose this one. It will automatic put all this map right here. So here, what should you do? So here you can select any face. For example, this face. Can move it. This is a face, so here also select the face. This one also select the face. Here select the face. Then click. Use move. Then you can move. So now this face already selected and move to a location. Now I select this face and it corresponds to this face. Move. So here you still can see some white, white zone because of here. Hold the shift and use a middle click, you can move it. So you can see the white zone actually is here. So you just need to move it here a little bit, then you can fix it. And actually you also can move the point. This is a point, you can select this point. Use the point selector, and click the point. And after that, what can, we, what can you do? You can move move the point. See, the automatic follow. If you are not satisfied, satisfied, then you can undo Control Z, undo. So now I select this face six. So this face, you need to use the face selector. 
then click the face and click move then you can move it you also can resize it this is the scale you can press S and make it smaller see you automatic follow this is the UV map Ctrl Z to undo and here this face Want to move? I use this. Okay, this zone. What else? Here. Should be here. This zone. Map here. How about if you want to select every face? You can click the wireframe. Then you select everything. Now you can see all the faces are here. You can move any face. Check. You automatic move together. You can move to the white zone also if you want. So now for now this one already become a standardized. Every face is already here. Then now now I may save save as a blender file. Or you can export it as any format. File, save as. I save it at desktop. I don't want to name it save as. It'll be here. If I try to export it out. Export as FBX on my desktop. So now this FBX file already have the texture. All right. The next I'm going to introduce you the texture painting. Texture paint is here. Click the texture pane, and here are your brush. You can adjust the brush size, the strength, and you can brush it here. It automatically will take the effect on the texture. And this picture, after brush it, you can export it out. Just need to file this one. Image, save as, then. This, this one I name it Texture 2. I saved in this location just now. Save. So now check. See? This is the texture that I just modified. Wait for a while. It is not responding. It already take the effect here. See? The texture 2.jpg, I just saved it. You can choose to direct paint at here, it will take the effect on the 3D, or you can direct paint on the 3D, then it, it will take effect on the texture. This is a texture painting, and here you can select the color. And this is just a very short introduction about the texture painting. We still have a lot of functions here. Still need to wait for your discovery. You can change the color. Alright. So as backup, I save this file again. File save as. I save as a blender file. Untitled 2. So now I want to introduce another way of texturing. File, New, General. I don't save because I already saved here. So now this is a cube also. It don't have any texture. 
or I can add another shape, another mesh. Maybe, maybe I add a cone. Then I move to here. Add surface. I also add a cylinder here. So now I'm going to show you different ways of adding the texture. For example, this cone. This is a cone, so this is a cylinder. I try to check the UV editing. So now this one I select the face. Okay, now I click on this face, that means you map at here. So another face here, this at here. And any of the face, this at here. So how about if I want to select everything? Click this one wireframe. Or you can press L and move your mouse cursor, it will automatically select everything. If you are still in this mode, now it never select anything if I press the empty zone. So I press L and hold the L, it will automatically select everything. I don't click my mouse again. Just press the L button, move your mouse cursor to approach the mesh, it will automatically select everything. This one, of course, I can add some of the texture. So this one, open. I open the same file just now. Okay. Or I can create a new file. This one, I copy a new one. Control C, Control V. So this one, I rename it for cylinder. All right. Then I open. I open with the pen. I create a new texture. Control A, I delete everything. Then I create two circles here. For example, red color. Okay, I fill it. So now I, I do another one. Maybe it's blue color. I color blue color. So this one. So this time I want orange color or green then color so it depends on your arts you can do anything here and this is just a demo and example I do some star here All right. so now I save as demo, now it already become another JPG file. How can I apply on here? So first, open. And copy the location. I want this file. Control C to copy. And click here. Control V. Enter. Texture for cylinder. So now, how to choose? The two circle part is at here. So now I select this face. So then I select here, scale it, I move it first to here, then I scale it, or I can press S to make it make it smaller. Click. So another face here. Then I also move it. Select first and move it. Press S to scale right. so now I'm not yet at the UV so click here okay. Okay, press L to select first then plus new base color click image texture here, select this texture. So now you can see this part already at the bottom. 
still have some white space. Okay, select it. And now we check at here. Move it again to a suitable place. Alright. So now it is fine. Then how about the center part? The center part I want it to map at here. Select the wireframe. Then this one is to select the edge. I select in this way. Can you? First I back to this mode. Select the face. I move away first. Move away then. Then I select. Use the wireframe. Select everything. So at here I only select here. Then I move it to here. Next, I want to scale it. Then I move it again. Okay, you can check. Now it's fine. Then I move this two again. Now all the UV already met properly. Just somewhere here. And of course, you still can paint it the texture pane now it already have the UV now you can export this you also can save it this is a cylinder okay so now I back to object mode there is the layout view now you see this one already have the UV this is the way how, how you, are, you are going to plot the UV now I can export it as FBX also. I save this file as a backup. Save as. This is on the desktop. Cylinder. Save. Now it's in the layout mode. Click this. The next I'm going to show you the different way of adding the texture. So now this one, click and already selected the cube. Already selected. Go to the UV editing. It is like at the beginning. So this one already selected. So I can click here. And Project from view. Now it automatically take this shape to apply to its UV. And here, click already base color, image texture. Then select at here for cylinder. So now you see, from this point of view, it plot and map on this UV. Can be in this way. If I select this, I can move it. See, it automatic project from this view. So, if you if you don't want already, you also can press L, and it select everything. You can click here UV. Unwrap. Select the wireframe mode. Unwrap. But it is still there. So, so this method is not correct. Later we are going to find it out. Okay. 
So it said here, press L, swipe on it, it select everything already, right click, UV unwrap face, unwrap. For this face, right click, UV unwrap face, unwrap. You can un unwrap one by one. So now all the faces already unwrapped here. You can check back the texture. All plotting by using the same. Now I select this face. Where is it? It is here. So I can move it. So I also can rescale it. Press S. You can scale it. And move to, to the place that you want. So this you can scale. You can move it somewhere here. Every face is now already unwrapped. They are all, all different. At the beginning, they are the same. S to scale. Move. So if I select all the faces, just need to press L, swipe on it, then you can see I have every faces is already there. I open another image, the television. Open this one. Television.png. 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 If I select in this way, it changed the UV map already. So, for example, this face, can I project it on this TV? Yes, you can. So, just need to look at the point. I select the point. Move to this corner. Select this point. Move to, to this corner. There are three ways of selecting. You can click this one to select the whole face. You can click this one to select just the edge. You can move the edge. You also can use this one. When you click, you click on the point and select the point. So now as you can see, it is totally right already. Now if I select another one, I open the television 2, this set here. So now I select this face. And I click X here, UV, project from view, okay then I change to television 2. For this picture, I shift the point to here, and this point to here, this point. Here. This point here. So now I already made this image right. And here it become a good angle already. You can show the whole image. Here I select the edge. Shift it up a little bit. So now you, you can see this. totally get it to become 
a cube. So now if I back to the object mode, and I scale this, so now you can see this picture it is totally a rectangle. It already corrected all the angle. Okay. It's exactly take from this UV. Okay. If you back to the edit mode, you can see. This one actually, where it take. I also can shift it away. Select this, shift it away to make it become white color. If you want to paint your texture, it's set here. Same as just now. You can paint on the texture. You also can direct paint, paint on the 3D. You automatic take on that. Right, that's all for today for the texture, for the texturing and texture paint. And thank you for watching. If you love my video, you can subscribe my YouTube channels and Turn on the mini bell so that when next time I publish a new video, you will receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video.